Hello, how are you? Welcome back again with our channel. Hope you are always healthy. After a spinal cord injury, SCI, however, movement comes at a premium. When the body suddenly stops moving, the joints and muscles become dangerously stiff, even leading to contractures. But this also can be prevented with proper, regular stretching, which is important to your spinal cord injury rehabilitation. The thing is, there are a lot of things to worry about after a spinal cord injury, and many may seem more important than stretching. However, when the very vehicle in which you exist becomes more and more constricted, the limitations you'll begin to feel will become unbearable. Stretching, which increases your range of motion when done on a regular basis, is the one thing but that can help to fix this. There are two different ways you can stretch, with the aid of another person or by yourself. Passive stretching is when a physical or occupational therapist stretches you or a personal caregiver. Many people will even recruit family and friends to help them. Or you can self-stretch the parts of your body that you can reach on your own. There are several websites that outline all of the stretches for quadriplegics and paraplegics. Discover which stretches you should be doing for your individual injury level and check out some self-directed stretches for wheelchair users, as demonstrated by a paraplegic using common kitchen items. subscribe and like this channel if you have suggestions or input please comment